Counter-Strike is one of those games that you can just play and not think too much about. Why are we fighting? Why am I rescuing this hostage? Why am I planting this bomb? I mean, to most, it's just terrorists terrorizing and counter-terrorists countering the terror. Now, most people think that's about the extent of the story, and well, of course it's not. There actually is a plot underneath all the terrorizing guns, knives, skins, and stickers. Let's start at the beginning. The start of the CSGO lore was at Operation Bloodhound. Starting from that point on, they'd have little snippets of the story in either missions or in comics. If you want to play these missions now, you can actually find them on the Steam Workshop. The only problem is, is that the second one's just a little messed up, which I'll get to later. The main antagonists of CSGO are the Phoenix Connection. It's these little guys right here. Their organization started all the way back in the 1980s with the collapse of the Soviet Union. The Phoenix consisted of Russian government officials and American spies that actively helped take down the Soviet Union. Over time, many of the agents in Phoenix started vanishing, and with the rampant threat of disbanding or getting wiped out, the Phoenix sought out a new leader, Valeria Jenner. Now unlike their first leader, Valeria knew how to get shit done. She almost sees herself as helping, or at least becoming the necessary evil, but I'm not too sure if this is exactly helping anyone. As the war went on in the Phoenix Connection, their members were slowly getting wiped out. Under desperate measures, Valeria searched for help from someone named Franz Kriegel. Now, they didn't exactly agree with each other, as Valeria wanted to change the world, Franz just wanted to put it under new management. Even from the start, Valeria and her partner Naomi said that they couldn't trust him, but either way, this is all they really had. Franz was basically in charge of everything other than the men. He had his own facility, he would supply them with bombs, and he even had ties to old Soviet companies, which will come later in the story. Valeria was just in charge of the men. Now, around this time, the Phoenix Connection were fighting the Coalition Task Force which are the people that oppose them in the missions. Their leader is someone named Felix. Another valuable asset during their war was someone named Booth. Booth was the arms dealer for both the Coalition Task Force as well as the Phoenix Connection. Basically in the lore, Booth is the guy that gives them all the skins. It turns out that Booth's daughter Imogen betrays the Phoenix Connection and collaborates with the Coalition Task Force. She helped the CTs rescue an informant named Kincaid. That's Kincaid. There has to be a way to unlock this Hello? door from the other side. At this point, things are getting a bit complicated, but just hold on a bit longer. So far, all that's happened is the CTs captured an informant, and Valeria captured Booth's daughter in return. At the final mission of Operation Wildfire, you play as the Coalition Task Force and rescue Booth's daughter Imogen. I'm not wild about helping Booth, but Imogen could be a powerful asset. This pretty much leads to the whole facility getting destroyed, but somehow everyone important like Valeria, Naomi, and Franz survive. In the raid while playing as a coalition task force, you stumble upon plans for the map train. Now the story of train is a bit confusing. Next was a corrupt shipping company that worked with Franz in the past. A nuclear bomb from the company V Shipping had to pass through their hangar, which was owned by Next, and because they had ties with Franz, they informed him. Franz had the idea of rigging the bomb with explosives before it arrived to V Shipping and blow it up along with the V Shipping building. Now the building also happened to have plans for these turrets inside, which eventually ties into the story as well. It didn't exactly work out at first and just derailed the train, which is why on the map train, the train is only derailed. You're pretty much just there to finish the job. That's why Felix, the owner of the Coalition Task Force, even points out that it was weird for Franz to be planning an attack at his own rail yard. Why would he target one of his own trains? What's he moving? During one of the missions, you also see plans to raid the map Nuke as well. The weird thing between both these maps is they both have ties to this company called V Shipping. You can see these symbols on maps like Train and Nuke. Now the crazy thing is, the tactical awareness grenade that the Coalition uses during their missions and on an M4A4 skin called the Coalition also has have the V Shipping logo on it. Tying this all together pretty much shows that the Coalition Task Force is basically hired by V Shipping, or at least works with them, which is Valeria's main enemy. She of course targets large corporations or higher powers that pull the strings with their abundance of money. And that is exactly what V Shipping is, and that's why they hired the Coalition to go after the Phoenix Connection. The only reason Franz is working with Valeria is because at the moment he also wants to take down V Shipping Corp for a somewhat unknown reason. That reason may be revealed a bit later. Also, another thing that I seem to have missed is on that M4A4 skin the Coalition I showed earlier, the little text at the bottom describing the skin says that this alliance is temporary but you're making me reconsider. Now this is most likely coming from Felix himself which shows maybe they didn't have a history per se but they are definitely an alliance now and who knows how far back this even goes. In Operation Shattered Web the Coalition Task Force is tasked to finally put an end to Franz and take down his arms facility. During the raid Franz launches these chemical weapons attacks which you can see in Danger Zone. In the end you eventually catch him trying to escape and kill him. Now, of course, this whole mission ties into Danger Zone itself. While raiding the facility, you can see drones, turrets, and Danger Zone participants. And these turrets here may actually be the plans that you can find on the map train. And during the raid, Franz actually ends up talking to the Coalition Task Force and pretty much says that Felix, the owner of the Coalition Task Force, knows more than he's letting on. But consider this. Why do you think Felix knows so much about this place? Perhaps you don't have the whole story. Perhaps I am not the demon he's making me out to be. 
Anyways, the fact that Franz tells you that Felix knows more than he's letting on makes it a bit suspicious. I mean, the drones in Danger Zone are literally running on V-Shipping's tech. V-Shipping also, of course, hired the Coalition Task Force like I said earlier. And with Felix being the owner of the Coalition Task Force, they seem to have some type of history. Now I'm going to do a bit of speculation myself. It's possible that V-Shipping, a known shipper of nuclear devices on train and nuke, is also involved in making weapons for the Danger Zone experiment. Franz, who seems to know quite a bit about V-Shipping, was targeted by the Coalition due to his involvement in the Danger Zone experiment and also for working with Floria to put an end to them. This experiment may have been started by V-Shipping with Felix, the head of the Coalition, having ties to it as well. V-Shipping may be the real force behind the Danger Zone experiment as opposed to just Franz. It all ties together considering we see V-Shipping designing pretty much everything that's used in the Danger Zone experiment and them wanting to silence Franz. It could be that Franz was either working with V-Shipping at some point or it could be that Franz used V-Shipping's technology to help further his twisted Danger Zone experiments and they just want to put an end to it themselves. As for the story with Valeria, we can see her in Operation Broken Fang still doing her normal duties. Well, well, well. It would appear that the tyrants have breached our house of learning, but we will not be deterred. These would-be assassins have traveled far to come here, but it will all be in vain. The Phoenix is the voice of freedom. And freedom cannot be stopped by a bullet. She has plans and staging areas to raid places like Ancient and Mirage. Report to Mirage Sector and show these interlopers what the Phoenix has taught you. The Coalition's job is to raid the facility and steal the plans. We can also assume that the other maps we play on tie in with Valeria and the Phoenix connection as well. So if you wanted to know the story between all the maps, then that's pretty much the story of Counter-Strike. Another interesting thing to take note of is that I'm pretty sure on all the newer Operation missions there were, the Coalition doesn't actually have any more tactical awareness grenades. And since the tactical awareness grenades were made by V-Shipping, it could mean that they aren't allied together anymore. But that's still more speculation and sadly no new story has popped up about the Coalition or V-Shipping itself. Maybe one day once a new operation comes out we'll see some updated story on it, but for the time being there is nothing new. In the end, the story of Counter-Strike can pretty much be summarized into this. Valeria Jenner, the new leader of the Phoenix Connection, sought out help from Franz to aid in their war. Booth was the arms dealer for both the Coalition Task Force and the Phoenix Connection. Booth's daughter Imogen betrayed the Phoenix Connection and collaborated with the CTs to rescue an informant named Kincaid. The CTs rescued Imogen at the final mission of Operation Wildfire, leading to the destruction of the facility but allowing Valeria, Naomi, and Franz to survive. Plans to raid the train and nuke maps were discovered during the mission. The Coalition Task Force was hired by V Shipping, a corporation targeted by Valeria due to their abundance of money and power. And Franz joined forces with her to take down V Shipping. In Operation Shattered Web, the Coalition Task Force was tasked with putting an end to Franz and taking down his arms facility. During the raid, Franz launched a chemical weapons attack, which we can see in Danger Zone. In the end, Franz was killed while trying to escape in his boat. V Shipping might be involved in making weapons for the Danger Zone experiment and Franz's involvement in the experiment led to his targeting by the Coalition and Felix. The drones in Danger Zone are run on V-Shipping's tech and V-Shipping also hired the Coalition Task Force. Valeria's agenda stayed strong even after Franz's death, providing backstories to why the T's and CT's are even fighting in Counter-Strike. Most maps we plan are just the Coalition Task Force fighting back against the Phoenix Connection. And yeah, that's pretty much the story of Counter-Strike. Uh, also, sorry if this video seemed to be going a bit too fast. I am still used to talking really quick from my old TikTok videos. And if your attention span is not as short as mine, I'm sorry. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. And if you didn't like it, go ahead and leave a comment why. And I'll try to do better next time.